Welcome back to another exciting episode of SBK Bahamas. Today, I have a special guest, a man of 30 plus years of experience, my mentor, one of my mentors, Chef Simeon Hall. You come here to march down the place. You come to show you why I used to be extra in the kitchen today. So we're gonna do three summer dishes. It's summer, it's hot outside, and we're gonna do three dishes. Chef Hall is gonna introduce those. So let's get cooking, guys. Thank you so much for having me here, uh, Chef Jamal. Uh, my name is Chef Simeon Hall, uh, culinary griot and culinary ambassador for the Bahamas. Today, because it's summer, like you said, we're going to be doing three dishes. Okay. A snapper terrabito, and then we're going to do a ceviche. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So Jamal brought in this amazing tuna loin for us. We just trimmed it up a little bit, and poke actually means to dice or to cut into strips and make uh, uh, cubes. So what I do, Jamal, I usually take my tuna, fresh tuna, and let it air dry overnight. Right. So we just dice this up. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, salt, of course, sea salt, some diced white onion, and guess what? That's poke. That's simple. Originally, poke was just made with tuna, cocoa nuts, and seaweed. And then, as time progressed and you had colonization, you had the addition of, you know. Ah, elevated plate. Don't tell me don't ah, because you know I get it from you. So he's going to show you traditional poke or plate. This is how it should. This is how it should look. This Sriracha meal, brikaki, mm. shallots, toasted and raw sesame seeds, and then, no. and then, applause for me just to finish it. Oops, that's it, done, finish. No fruit, no all this other stuff that you see on some people poke bowl. I'm so no, sorry. That's sorry. not poke. That's not poke. Traditional poke. Poke. All right, so second dish up for the summertime. I'm taking you to Peru. Okay, so Peruvian. Yeah, imagine uh, Awaki, Cisco, and Peru had a baby. So I, you got this uh, lovely snapper for me. And so we just... Cutting it. Oh, what's happening? Cutting it in. I have these. Actually, a little bit more safer because you know we have more preserving of actual yeah. soy and sea salt stuff that actually. Right. You know, so that's what we're we working with this right now. Preserves the, the fish. So, just strips of. And I have this amazing handmade ceramic bowl. The ingredients here are provided by you. So, some serranos. Literally, I'm just layering different produce, fresh produce here, provided by Cisco Bahamas. I don't use micros just for using micros. I use it for the flavor. Flavor, part. exactly. Everything, my, everything tastes the same. No, every micro has a different flavor profile. It has a different use. So, yeah, play around with your micros. It's not just for pretty. It actually enhances your dish. So in this, we have ah, ahi chilies, ginger, lemongrass, orange juice, and lime. This is what we're gonna finish the dish with. So, so we have our last dish, Chef, what we got? We're doing a snapper ceviche. Nice. AKA snapper salad, mm -hmm. AKA the cousin of gum salad. So basically, we're gonna do the same thing, just dice it up. And then we have all our other 
uh, diced herbs. So first thing I'll put here, throwing in by Cisco. Cisco. And then to start the curing process. And then we're gonna hit it with some more. All right, so we have the lime in it. So that's gonna start the process. That along with cross salt, nice red onion, nice green brown pepper, yes, and yellow. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of micro cilantro. Around. It's a little kick. And then some micro sorrel, which is very acidic, very lemony tasting. And then we'll hit it with some more. The remaining of that, the lime. If you like me and you like acid, then this is definitely your dish. And then, you know, you can let it sit for a minute or two. Just to bring all those flavors together. This fancy, yeah. the fancy bowl here. Yeah? Well, you know. Mm -hmm. See, as you can see, texture is official already. It's starting to change on the acidity. Yeah. So, that's it. That's it. And there you have it, three not so traditional, but traditional summertime fish dishes. Look at we have the taradito, the ceviche, and the traditional poke. Thank you, Chef Hall. Listen, listen, you threw down today in the kitchen, but don't even turn it on the stove, guys. You threw down. <laughs> so, thank you, it was a pleasure having you here. Thank you so much for forward to having you the many more. So, guys, we get. <laughs> That's yes, trust me, we gotta show, we gotta show the, yeah, the culture. Hey, hey, we help, yeah. and we here to help. So always, guys, remember to check out our special sheets every month. Cisco is here to help. We have all kind of options. We have everything that's shown that we, we can get for you. So uh, this has been another SBK. Happy cooking. Enjoy your day.